everybody. There's a couple of ways that we're going to ask you guys to show your work on a Schoology assessment. So I'm going to show you those ways so you can become familiar with that. The first way is typing in your math work. So here you can see that it says show your setup for the following problem and solve. How many atoms are found in 20.75 grams of chromium? So we are going to click in this white space down here and you can see that a calculator pops up. It says click in the space below to access the calculator, choose X. Right here, it should default to, this, to the uh, algebra calculator. We can use the following button on the calculator to type in our conversion factors. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I know that we're gonna start with 20.75 grams of chromium times, and I'm gonna need a conversion factor. So I'm gonna click this button here and that shows up as a fraction. So I know that on the bottom of my conversion factor, I'm gonna to have to have the molar mass. So 52.00 grams of chromium. And on the top, I'm gonna to have to have one mole of chromium. I can use my right arrow to get to the side of that conversion factor times my other conversion factor. So this is a two-step problem because I need to solve for moles. So I know I need one mole of chromium on the bottom and up here, I'm gonna put Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10. I gotta go back to my calculator to get my exponents. So here, I can click that and a two pops up. Then this one, I can push that and a three to get my three. I click over to the right to get to the end of that conversion factor equals, and then let me go ahead and calculate this really quick. So 20.75 divided by 52 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And I know that I have to have four sig figs for my answer. So I would record my answer as 2.402 times 10 to the 23. So then I have to put my two as an exponent and then my three as an exponent. And then don't forget your units. I'm gonna click to the right to get out of my exponents, atoms of chromium. And I realized I forgot to put my units up here on this conversion factor. Let me get up there, atoms of chromium. Okay, so that's how you would use your math type. Now, if it says and solve, make sure you do put your answer and that you are rounding to the correct number of sig figs. The other type of question is a drag and drop. So it says, how many grams are equivalent to 0.633 moles of calcium? Set up your problem below. If a conversion factor is not needed, drop an NA in the blanks. So you can see that we have a bunch of choices down here. Well, I know that the first thing I have to put in this box is what I'm given. So I've got, got to find 0.633 moles of calcium. Now you can see out of my choices here, I've got all of the units listed first, and then I have a handful of numbers to choose from. So I know that if I have moles here, I've got to have moles on the bottom. And then I can figure out which number goes with moles. That's one. I'm solving for grams. So I'm gonna put grams up on the top. And then the number that goes with grams is the molar mass. So I have to find the molar mass of calcium. Put that up there. And then because I'm solving for grams and grams is up here, I don't need these other boxes. So I'm gonna put an NA in here showing that that conversion factor is not needed. And then I would calculate this and solve, and I can see that I'm going to need three sig figs. I get 25.37064. So I know it's 25.4, and don't forget your units at the end. So those are two types of problems that we can have you guys do to show your work. If you have any questions, make sure you contact your teacher. Thank you.